hard too. Someone made a comment about the fact that I don't smile a lot. I just have a resting bitch face, so, but that doesn't mean I'm bitchy. It just means that, you know, don't smile a lot, but yeah. Anyway, I will try to smile more. There you go. Uh <laughs> So I had done an introduction for this video, which is why you're seeing a different shirt than the one that you saw in the pre-introduction, -pre um, but I kept saying the wrong name of the top and I didn't want to have to edit it 5,000 times. It is the Anthea top. So past the next point, if I say Odessa, I mean Anthea, and this whole video is all about the construction of that top. Um, I did, <coughs> sorry, I did say that I would be making a video this week with my cross stitch and my other crafts, but I haven't done any knitting and I have not done any cross stitching because, get right, I have to tear everything from this line out and I have not done that and I announced that on Instagram. I don't know how many days ago I just it's so depressing to have to tear out your work so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit this video and while it's rendering I'm gonna get those stitches torn out and then hopefully tomorrow I will be able to get that stock put back in and catch up with the clues because it's the 16th right now and the next one's coming out on the 30th plus I'm supposed to be working on a Christmas one with Hal and Duffin and I haven't even started that yet anyway I look really bad I'm looking at myself in the TV. I'm not going to lie to you. I have been in bed all day. I have a chesty cough and I don't feel the greatest <laughs> today. Um, I think um, Ian's got the same thing, just different. It's not the flu. It's not COVID. It's just a cold because of the weather's changed and blah, 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 blah. So yeah, so I've spent all day from about, I got up and did a bunch of housework and then went and to lay down or lie down, I can't remember which is proper English. Oh my God. Um, Millie Lawrence would be ashamed of me. Um, I went to lie down at about oh, 10 o'clock or so, and it's now 3.07, and I've just gotten up to come and do this. So, anyway, that's why I look ratty. So, anyway, um, with no further ado, I'm going to pass you over to the Jen from Monday. Okay. All right. Enjoy. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, yeah, so I'm going to be working on that today. I thought I'd take a few pictures while I'm working through this. It might take a couple of days to get done. I have some other things that I have to do because we bought a house. We did. We bought a house last week and um, yeah, so we're going to be moving in six, eight weeks. I don't know which yet. I am praying to all that's holy that I do not move around Halloween because I will freak the hell out if I have to do that because you know, decorations. Um, but yeah, so I don't like my 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 Halloween to be disrupted or my Thanksgiving to be disrupted or my Christmas to be disrupted. Any other holiday I don't really care about, but yeah, I don't want those disrupted at all. So anyway, so yeah, so there's a lot to do. Um, I will talk more about that probably later in the week, but um, yeah, Ian really, really likes this house and yeah, that's all that matters really, but he's happy. So, right, um, so we're gonna crack on with this, uh, this little sewing vlog and yeah, there might be a little bit of video while I'm sewing. There might be, you know, a little, you know, some still shots or whatever, but um, I'll probably, video the less complicated bits probably not video things like gathering sleeve tops and things like that because there will be a lot of profanity because i never ever ever have an easy time with that so yeah i actually had thought to myself that um now i'm gonna yammer on for an age and a freaking year um i actually had thought about using my um oh uh, my shearing elastic in the cap of the sleeve to get it to gather correctly and then um, then pull that out after I've sewn the sleeve 
which I think would be, I don't know, I might just test it to see. I don't know if I have any of that fabric left to scrap or otherwise, but we'll see. We'll see how that works. That might be a good idea. It might be an easy way to gather correctly and evenly spaced and all of that because, you know, it doesn't have a choice but to be evenly spaced because of the stitch length is chosen for it. So, anyway, we'll see. I don't know. Who knows? So, I'm lazy. Anyway, right. Uh, so, yeah. So, um, with Blossom asleep now, I guess she is out now, um, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna crack on and, um, yeah, I'll do a voiceover so y'all know what I'm, I'm up to at whatever point um, you're seeing. So. Right. I'll talk to you in a minute. Hi. So what you needed to do on these front facings is just kind of fold it over and make a placket. So that is what I'm going to do now. And I'm going to sew that down. So let's get to it. Six months later. Right, so we finished the facing, sewing those in. Um, I'm pretty proud of those actually. They came out okay. There's a bunch of little threads on here, but they'll be gone. I think I'm going to um, figure out what the width of my uh, serger is if I don't mess around with it, because I really don't want to have to mess around with it. But yeah, and then what I'd like to do is uh, search the lower edge of this garment so I can hem it. But yeah, so, so far so good. That's what it looks like on Hagrid. Kind of hanging danging. We'll find out what happens next. Okay. Hello. So we're back. Um, what's just happened? Right. So the, sorry, I've got a lot of clips and pins in but what I just did what I just finished was sewing the side seams so the side seams are sewn and there's fuzz on there so it looks like there's a stain but there's not so I finished the side seams and sewed the side seams and then did a, a finishing bah, sorry a finishing stitch on the edge with my serger if I cover my face up then it won't matter um, and also the shoulders as well. They were finished. And what I didn't do on the shoulders was use the knife on my serger, which I probably should have done, but I did not. And so that's all done. That's all been pressed towards the back. And now I am going to attach the neck facing. I never have any luck with this stuff. Oh God, I am so nervous about this bit, but we will sew it and hopefully it will come out okay. So I'm not gonna film this bit of sewing because again, this is one of the ones where I swear and yeah, and the machine goes all really slow because I make it go really slow. So I am going to stop recording here and then I will come back when it's done. Okay, see you in a minute. Hi, so I'm gonna, I, do I say hi every time? I don't know, I'm gonna have to go back and watch this. And, either edit it or you'll just have to deal with it so anyway so I have gotten the facing sewn into the top oh no no there's an air war error will Robinson sugar pie honey bunch that is gonna show isn't it oh yeah why 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 I ask you why uh, Christ on a cracker. So if I get those two stitches out, maybe I can restitch it so it doesn't. Right. So there's a good thing. So there was there's a pucker. There was a pucker there, right? So I pulled those stitches out. I will pull that and stitch over that again. Let's check for any other puckers. 
well, we're looking at our sewing. So there's no puckers there or there or there or there. It's just this one pucker. So I'm going to go stitch the pucker. <laughs> that sounds so bad. I'm going to go stitch the facing in. <laughs> oh, wow. Only I would think of it. So if you don't swear, then you probably haven't figured out what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, I'm going to go restitch that just that little bit there and then I believe the next step is to clip the curved edge around the, the collar so I'm gonna go do that and um, then do the clipping and then I will be right back day two hello welcome back um, this is day two of the projects and oh, yesterday I sewed on that top I don't want to jinx myself by saying pretty perfectly but it was pretty perfect and <clears throat> I did the neck facing first time no problem except that little hitch on the first pass for that I'm gonna get up and get that shirt for you so I can show you what I did because it's amazing Hello, hello. Wait, I'm back. <laughs> right, so that's the inside of the neck facing. Okay, so for me, that's like super duper good work. Um, again, I'll just show you the, <clears throat> the shoulder seams all finished and the side seams, which are a little bit better than the shoulder seams because I used my knife. I was really scared to use my knife, but in the end, I. I did it on the side seams. I just super careful. I only took like a shave off here. I'll show you what a shave off the side of that shirt looks like. Like that. That is so small. Super duper careful though. Oh yeah, broke a clip. But yeah, so this morning, what's on the agenda? Let's have a looky see. And I pinned the instructions to my board. So today, we're obviously working on sleeves. I got up to step 10 and now I'm on step 11, which is sewing two rows of basting stitches at the upper edge of the sleeve between the notches and the bottom edge between the notches. Hi, Blossom. Blossom's here. Anyway, we're gonna go have a try, see how we do with the basting stitches. I think what I'm gonna do is take a piece of scrap fabric first just to see how um, this fabric gathers. If it doesn't gather very well then I will probably use my um, my shearing um, elastic. So let's go see. Be right back. Hi. Uh, right. No sleeves. Sleeves. Okay. Um, I've gotten the sleeve cuff done, so I stitched all of the gathering stitches. I've had a bit of a th drama here. Um, not with this, just my own stupidity, really. But we'll talk about that in a second. And then I have done the same at the... Oh, are you kidding? Oh, are you kidding? Oh, shoot. I'm going to go now and cry. And I'll be back in a minute when I'm not crying. Many, many minutes later. So this is what's going on. I sewed at the cuff, which was pretty damn near perfect to... Okay, so I didn't put the right sides of the fabric together. I put a right side to a wrong side, and then when I came to you earlier, <laughs> dun dun dun. Um, yeah, it was a bit of a bad thing. So I'm going to reattach this um I'm really pissed. <laughs> really, really, really pissed off right now. Uh, I'm gonna re try to reattach this uh this 
cuff to this sleeve the right way. Yes, the right way. And see how it goes. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. Probably not. I'm going to have to... I have another problem as well. So I'm gonna have to probably search the edge of this sleeve. Um, yeah, and I'm running out of the thread, so that's not good either. Uh, this top might not get done today because I am out of what I need. And yeah, I think before I do anything else, I'm going to re-extend this sleeve and I will do it on the other one if it means I have to pull out all of the... The stitching I will I'll just order some more of that thread but I really need to search the sides of this because it's fraying horribly and yeah that's not good so I'll see what it looks like after I search it and then we'll go from there hello it is day three day two oh was a bit of a after my rut row that you just saw a few seconds ago it was a bit of it was a frustrating and but i finally did get the sleeves and then i will show you that in like two seconds um right now i have you are actually the tripod is actually sitting on top of my top which is on the serger which is having the bottom hem um i'm like searching the lower bottom hem so i can just sorry i want to take my specs off and clean them um and so i can just roll that um hem up and get it stitched i am so very close to being out of thread but i managed to find something remotely close to it it's a gutterman's i had i think i showed you guys hang on there we go. Yeah, it looks great, but it's not. It's really tan. Um, here, I'm just gonna go back here. Sorry, I'm listening to um, Pixie, that audiobook, the Deadly Education one. It's really good. Like this girl is like super hyper though. Anyway, that came out of this Goodermans that Ian got me for Christmas this last year. Um, it's just like a variety of goodermans threads kind of like a rainbow thing so i can kind of match but it's really really nice and obviously it's handy because it's gonna save my butt um i hate to say this before i show you guys this top and some of you might be okay but i am not i don't really like the sleeves i like them but i don't i don't like the size of them i don't know they come down here on my arm and the picture shows them up here but there is no like cut line to shorten the sleeves because you know the armhole is what it is and but maybe i should have made a smaller size i don't know but anyway we'll see we'll see how it goes right i am going to drink some coffee because i haven't had any yet today and i'm going to get sewing and then um i will be back and i'll show you this the inset sleeves and all of the things that go along with the hem okay I'll see you in a second. Hey, I'm back. So I just wanted to show you the inside of the sleeve and and just show you what that kind of came out like. That's the that's the the job. Now I have to still press the and this is very unusual, but I have to press the 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 hem up towards the shoulder I am gonna tack it down basically they say if you do that then it gives it a little bit more um, poofiness at the top uh, yeah so and I have just finished the just stitching that what what is that nonsense um, I've just finished stitching the or surging the edge of the, the hem so I can get that rolled up um, Right, so 
don't really, I don't cotton to this at all. Chris, if you're watching, can you please email me and tell me how to fix what you're about to see because I really, really like this top and I would really, really like to keep it. But at the same time, I hate these sleeves and I want to fix them so they're better. I don't know what to, I don't know how to say that. Ugh. Anyway, you'll see in a second here. I'm going to put it on so you all can see what it looks like. I mean, obviously it has to have buttonholes and things like that. But, and I know that this top is supposed to have some positive ease. I get that. But this is... Excuse my French. Sorry, Christina. Of positive ease. Like, look how much that is over. Like, look at this. The other side is like, sorry, it's hard to do when you're opposites. It's like way over there. And this is what I'm talking about the sleeves. You can see, you know, okay, let's show this side. This is how much extra there is. And I don't, I don't know how to fix it. I feel like a medieval bard. <laughs> And you know what? I mean, I know you're all going to be going, well, why the hell did you get that top? Or did you get that pattern? Sorry, there's a thread hanging there. Um, I got it to go with this because I thought that the two of them together, it's the apron dress by the assembly line, would be like super cute. Like super cute. Clearly, I don't know. Hmm. I am very frustrated because I really like the way they develop their patterns. I like the instructions. I like everything. Maybe I'll make it one size smaller. Again, I'll do the same thing again and make it one size smaller and see what it's like. But until then, I'm gonna put the buttons in this. It is made out of this old percale sheet. This was an old bed sheet that I had. Um, it's a very warm like very warm so like this is egyptian cotton and i actually the thread that i'm running out of which is the thread i'm using to sew with is egyptian cotton as well so it kind of suited but i got it in america and i can't get any more it's coats and clark and you can't get this particular khaki color here so i did find a gutterman's that matches yeah so I'll, I'll just use as much of this as I can because I don't anticipate I'm going to wear this top of shit ton because, sorry Chris, sorry I swore, um, because I'm just really frustrated, just know that I'm really frustrated right now, um, because I don't like it, but if Chris, if you have any ideas, or anybody, but my sister is a really good sewer, so yeah, um, if you have any ideas on how I can not take these sleeves out, and not tear this bit out because it's kind of too late now because you do the cuff bit before you actually do the, uh, the seam bit. It's not good. Um, if you could um, just let me know how I can possibly fix that so it's not so, you know, King Kong court baird bard um don't have any songs but go watch the witcher on netflix because that court bard's really funny right i think this is the longest clip i have done yet i am going to go drink a little bit more coffee because i really need it this morning and um then i'm gonna practice the buttonholing i hate buttonholing I'm gonna practice that and then I'm gonna put the buttonhole marker on and mark all the buttonholes and then put the buttonholes in. Eek! Anyway, I'm gonna practice. <laughs> oh, and I'll roll the hem and do it. And so I guess the next time you see this, it'll be done. Okay, see you in a second. Well, hi! <laughs> the top is done. I'm probably gonna not be in shot a lot. Uh, yeah, I got the buttonholes done. They weren't too bad. I got the hem done. That wasn't too bad. Uh, buttonholes went really, really well. They were very easy to do. Uh, my machine pretty much 
is an angel and I did uh, test on some of the same fabric before, um, before I actually did them on the shirt. There are a lot of little threads hanging around that I've got to get off the top itself. But yeah, it's done and I'm pleased with the I'm pleased with the sewing that I did. Again, not happy with the with the sleeves and things. Um, as far as the inside goes, I did actually tack the uh, the hem um, the seam up onto the shoulders to give it a little bit more poofiness, as they said. But yeah, I got the buttons on the buttons I already had in my stash, did not realize, but they're like these little coconut buttons with a leaf pattern on. So you can see where I have to trim some of the threads off the buttonholes, but yeah. All in all, super pleased with that top, and yeah, I guess I don't have anything else to say about it, other than I am going to go have some more coffee and plaza. some. She's so funny. Hey, wanna say hi? Say mommy did a shirt. <laughs> Mwah. What's that? That's not mommy, honey. This is mommy. Okay. Anyway, I'm peeking in here. Hi. Right, so yeah, I'm going to go drink a little bit of coffee, cuddle blossom for a little while, and yeah, then tomorrow I will edit all of this and post it for the week with a little bit of my cross-stitching debacle and share some cross-stitching um, news that I have. And oh, poor little Chanel gums. Oh, no. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will see you guys later.